Bonjour. The city of love, croissants, and the home of PSG. Oui, oui, c'est Paris. <laughs> So what can I say about my trip to Paris? A couple of phrases come to mind. Bit off more than I could chew. Ran before I could walk. I definitely underestimated the size of the city and how vast and spread out it all is. Maybe not the best choice for my second time traveling solo. Some of you may remember this clip from a previous video. Trips will not always go according to plan. There will be hiccups. This was my first experience of that. Even though I had everything planned and accounted for, sometimes things are just out of your control. But the day started off perfect, flight was fine, I got the buses organised from the airport, initial impressions of the area surrounding the hotel were fine. I know you shouldn't compare them but going from Bruges, my first solo trip to Paris, Bruges had its central market with everything located in and around it. Whereas Paris was so spread out and vast, it was definitely a learning experience. When I arrived at the hotel, I was told the check-in would be an hour later than I was initially made aware of whenever I booked the hotel. There was no explanation, there was no trying to accommodate, so initial impressions weren't great. It also scuppered my plans because I was just accounting for an hour where I would kind of check out the surrounding areas and get my burns, kill the time. But I am, ended up aimlessly walking around for two hours, which felt like a complete waste. Finally got checked in and went up to the room. It was kind of small, but I knew that. Um, unpacked, freshened up, and I went ahead with my afternoon plans, which was to visit the Sacre Coeur Basilica. And after a bit of a trek up some steep streets, finally got to the top, some amazing views. And I stopped off at a cafe which I had checked out, Le Grenoles, where I got a fresh filled baguette, which was beautiful, and a cup of warmed mulled wine, which was perfect for warming you up on a cool October afternoon. I also spotted an Irish bar, so I decided to get myself a Guinness. You can take the boy out of Ireland, but... So, as it was October, the light was starting to drop quick, and obviously running behind by an hour because of the little late check-in. I decided to head back to the hotel, freshen up and head out to find somewhere to eat for dinner. That's when the drama started though. So I was obviously wanting to freshen up to head out for dinner and I went to go into the bathroom and the door wouldn't open. It was one of those circular handles and it just kept turning and it wouldn't open. So I went down to the reception and tried to explain to the girl that was on the front desk. She couldn't quite understand me at the start but she finally grasped what I was trying to say. So she said she would phone the handyman, but he wasn't based on site, so it might be a 30 minute wait. It was about 7 pm at the time, and I thought, ah, that's fine, sure, the half an hour I'll go in quick, I'll get it sorted, and I'll be out in time for dinner. An hour passes, and not a sign, not a word. So I decided to go back down to reception again, and the girl was putting her coat on and left. That was the end of her, her shift. So I had to try and explain the situation again to the guy who was working on the front desk then and he could understand what I was trying to say. So he, f he said he would phone the handyman again and give me a call up to the room just to give me an update. So I headed back up to the room. Another half an hour passes, <laughs> no sign. I could hear a phone ringing in the distance from a room which was near mine and I said to myself as soon as I heard it, I was like, I bet you he's supposed to be calling my room. And he, did, he got the wrong room. So a few minutes later there was a knock at the door and that's what he says, he got, he got my wrong room number so he was phoning in a different room. But he explained the situation, he was speaking to the handyman and he wouldn't be able to come out that evening, it would be the next day before he could get out. So he decided to see if he could try and open it himself and he tried to like jimmy the lock with my key card near breaking it in the process. That didn't work. He then tried to physically just pull the door open and as I said it was a small room so there wasn't much space for me to 
kind of stand. So I'm waiting for the door to bang open and hit me in the face. Thankfully it didn't. Um, and then he asked me, did I have a screwdriver so he could take the handle off? I was thinking to myself, yeah, because I'm traveling all the way to Paris with a toolbox in my suitcase. So it was, it was getting a bit laughable. And only after all those options, he then decided to see if there was another room he could move me to. Didn't change the fact that my toiletries were still on the other side of the door, but I thought, the hell with it. I went with it and finally got checked into a new room. And by this time, it was about 9 p.m. I was absolutely starving. So I ventured out. It was, it was dark. A couple of places had already kind of closed in the area. Other places had stopped serving food and it was mainly just bar. You, know, you could only get a drink. And so it was about half nine. I was walking around and there was still nowhere I could see. So I decided to just cut the losses, head back to the hotel and only one option for it. Uber Eats and a McDonald's. Beautiful. So all in all, a mixed first day and I decided just to cut my losses and have an early night. But I woke up the next morning later than intended and still in a bit of a, a mood from the night before. I ventured off to find a shop to get some new toiletries and a couple of pastries for breakfast. And I had intended on doing a river cruise that day, but it was actually teeming down with heavy rain. So I decided to put it off as well. So again, not a great start to the day, but went back to the hotel room and told myself just to snap out of it, and try and get on with the day as much as I could. And I was going to a Paris Saint-Germain football game later on that evening. So I told myself, go out, scope out the train station, try and find out how to get to and from it and just get on with the day. And after again some initial confusion as, as to what train to get because I couldn't see any of the destinations that I'd kind of figured out before whenever I was planning the trip. And I asked some of the, the staff and again not the most helpful or overly friendly. So I only had one option that was try and suss it out myself and get on with it. And I did. And it was perfect along with a little help from Google Maps. But I got there and went, grabbed a burger and a beer before the match. And it's fair to say that from that moment, that's when my trip started and it turned a corner. I won't go into the game in too much detail. I, I'm, I will do a separate video um, going into the game and how I got tickets and how to get to and from the stadium. For those of you who may be interested, just keep an eye out for that then. So after successfully using the train to get to and from the Paris Saint-Germain football game, I felt a lot more confident and I was able to get out and start exploring and finally got to do all the things that I wanted to do. Which leads me to my next bit, my recommendation of five things to do when in Paris. Number one, visit the Sacre Coeur Basilica. A 19th century basilica with a large Gothic dome, you get some spectacular views of the city. The stairway also leading to the basilica is a place where people like to hang out, have a drink, something to eat, even a sing song. However, one tip, don't let the sales people put a bracelet on your arm. They won't let you take it off and they'll make sure you pay for it. Number two, a bus tour. There are various operators that do the tours, but I went for one called the Big Bus Tour and they're a classic ticket. Um, I booked in advance and it was 35 euro for a one day hop on hop off tour and you also get a river cruise included in the ticket. I went for the classic route which uh, lasts about two hours and you get to stop off at 11 different stops including the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, Notre Dame and the Champs-Élysées. Number three, walk the Champs-Élysées. Known as the world's most beautiful avenue, enjoy the hustle and bustle of this street. Lined with restaurants, luxury boutiques, flagship stores, and even nightclubs. It's also the location of some famous events in Paris, including the uh, Tour de France and the Bastille Day celebrations. It is also the location for my next recommendation, the Arc de Triomphe. Number four, climb the Arc de Triomphe. 
again, as one of my goals whenever I go away, I'm planning on climbing like a tall structure. So this was my one for Paris Trail. And it's one of Paris's most famous landmarks. And it was built to remember the French soldiers who have died during the French Revolution and the Napoleonic War. And standing at 50 meters high, you get to enjoy some spectacular views of the Champs-Élysées and the surrounding area. A ticket to climb to the top costs 13 euros, but it's a definite must do. And finally, number five, a cruise along the River Seine. As I mentioned earlier, included in the ticket for your big bus tour is a cruise along the river. The ticket cost 35 euro and it was through an operator called Bateau Parisien and their boat leaves from the foot of the Eiffel Tower. You get to enjoy Paris as you've never seen it before, as you glide on their bridges and catch a glimpse of some of their finest monuments. So there you go guys, that's my recommendation of five things to do when in Paris. All in all, it was a good trip, and even though it didn't start off that way, I really did enjoy it. However, if you are traveling solo, I would definitely recommend leaving it for a few trips until you become a bit more confident. However, if you have been to Paris before on a solo trip, let me know what your experiences have been like in the comments, and let me know if you have any recommendations or tips. Again guys, thanks very much for checking the video out. Please make sure to give it a like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next one.